Fingered is like guess who, except you're ostracized for bringing it up at family gatherings. Actually, I guess it's exactly like guess who. <laughs> the game is the brainchild of two big-brained parents named Edmund McMillan and James Id. It was released in the summer of 2015, was patched once, and that was that. Trailers for the game dropped just a few days prior to its release. And here we have another case of a trailer with way better graphics than the final. Fingered was a flash in the pan. In interviews, Edmund talks about how working on Fingered was a way for him to recapture the fun he had in game development when he was first starting out. And after working on Isaac for so long before and afterwards, could you blame him? It seems like Edmund and James had a fun time creating this game. But I can't say for certain, I wasn't there. The only game development I've witnessed in person was Nicktoon's Battle for Volcano Island, and let me tell you, the stories that came out of that process would make an intense documentary. But regardless of their level of enjoyment during development, the game was finished, and now you can purchase it on Steam for less than two bucks. That's basically free! And if the gameplay on screen looks at all appealing to you, well you might as well jump for it. I mean, what you see is what you get with Fingered. There's no pause menu, there's no save functionality, the game's not even in full screen. Your goal is to f finger the right suspect based on the four clues provided. You can release guys if you're sure they're innocent. The downside of this is the fact that you're a feeble human, and you can and will make a mistake by releasing the wrong dude. Each day brings a new character with a new way of giving you clues. The first day is with this guy Basic Bob, a real clean-cut guy. But later days have you deal with characters that lie, speak in Pig Latin, give you a time limit, don't finish their sentences, don't use human language. This game's crazy, man. I don't know how they come up with all this stuff. Man. The characters that populate the lineup are random each time. The clues, and your decision on who to finger, are purely visual. A smart person might have a pencil in their ear, a young person might be wearing a propeller hat, an upstanding member of the community might be wearing a Billy McChucks mask. Now you might be thinking, wow, assigning guilt based solely on how someone looks. Could this game be trying to make some sort of a statement on something or something? I don't know. I wrote a whole report on it, but I got an F. So I think they might have done the satire wrong or something. I mean, I guess it could have been my writing, but I don't think that's possible. The gameplay here is simple, but it's not unfun. Seeing the congratulations screen pan in and hearing the applause is always satisfying, as is the sensation of releasing a slew of suspects or certain are innocent. Fingered proves that you can make a solid experience just by doing one thing and doing it well. That's not to say the gameplay is perfect though. I take issue with some of the traits. I always have a hard time when the clue involves an ugly person, because there isn't a character in this game you couldn't describe as ugly. Even the pretty ones are ugly. Also, sometimes the amount of cosmetics on the characters is excessive. It can be hard to make out any specific details when the suspects become a mess of black eyes and boxing gloves. And maybe this was all intended to be part of the challenge, but it certainly left me in scenarios where I was totally guessing on who to finger. One super helpful trick that I completely ignored when I first played this game is to look at the names of each suspect in the bottom right. Each name has an adjective in it that may just tip you off to whether or not they're guilty. Using this method, along with a decent understanding of each of the game's descriptors, I was eventually able to get pretty good at passing the first in-game week. But that didn't make starting from day one when I lost sting any less. It's not like the game is that long. A perfect run through Fingered will only last around 10 minutes, 15 if you stop to wipe the mayonnaise onto your keyboard. But when you toil and toil over who to finger on a later day, then get it wrong and get sent back all the way to basic ass Bob, it can be very demoralizing. On one hand, kicking the player back to the start when they lose is obviously a way to artificially increase the difficulty and playtime. I mean, like I said, it only takes 10 minutes to get to the ending, and yet, I have five hours on this game. Okay, so, uh, I don't know if he caught that, but he just said it took him five hours to beat Fingered. Um, I don't know if you guys know, Fingered is actually a very easy game. Uh, it should not take you five hours to beat it. I beat it in, uh, 30. Uh, that's 30 minutes, not 30 hours. So, I don't know what this guy's talking about. 
uh, don't watch the video. What a fucking joke. But on the other hand, I completely realized that there wouldn't be any challenge at all if the game didn't kick you back when you fail, as then you could just finger people willy-nilly until you just so happen to finger correctly. Ultimately, while starting over and fingered can be deeply upsetting, I don't think it's a major flaw with the game. If the price were a little larger, maybe I'd take issue, but for what you're paying, I think this padding is perfectly acceptable. So why'd I even bring it up? I don't know. That was really stupid of me. Never watch that part of the review again. And that's all I really need to say about this game. I'm gonna say more things, but it's not imperative that I say them. The words that are coming out of my mouth right now could have stayed put. The graphics and sound of Fingered are A-OK-Y. -okay. Yeah. That little animation's gonna come on screen every time I say A-OK-Y. -okay from now on, so look forward to that. There's only three songs in the soundtrack, and two of them are really just slight variations of each other. One for the menus, one for the gameplay, and an ending theme. And now it's time for a comprehensive review of the song that plays during gameplay in the video game Fingered. I give the percussion of this song a 9 out of 10. I give the tempo 3 beats on the beat scale. Two shoes and a hat for the bass, and the fruit that best represents the song as a whole is... The Jamaican Tangalo! The graphics are crude and messy, but they've got a charm. I find something about the sloppy shapes and lines endearing. It reminds you that this game was made by humans, and not the group of human-like androids that are already silently replacing many of the people around you. More on that in my next video. It's shocking the things that are happening right now that people just aren't even realizing. I guess that sentiment sums up Fingered as a whole, really. It's a charming little experiment that's far from perfect, but it's fun for a little while. It explores its concept as much as it needs to, and then it leaves you. It's refreshing to have a game that's perfectly suited to being played, eaten, and put down. I mean, technically there's extra content and going for all the achievements, but the majority of them are unlocked by fingering special characters that randomly appear in the lineup. There's also this database of all the characters in the game that you can search through. Let's see what crimes you, the viewer, have committed, shall we? Yeah, that sounds about right. So go out and try fingering it next time you got some extra money left in your Steam wallet. It's like a video game mint. And I like mints. Oh, and I used a guide to get past the dog. That's all. Hey, I'm Billy McChucks in the Right Audio Channel, and I think you should sub watch more videos. And I'm Billy McChucks oh. of the Left Audio Channel. I think you should also watch more videos of Billy McChucks. Oh, yeah, me oh, cool, so you agree with me. Yes, yes, I agree with you. Oh, that's good, yeah, yeah, so we, we both agree you yes, should watch, uh, I think watch you should more watch videos. More videos. Uh, this yes. is Billy McChucks in the center. Shut oh, the no, fuck up, both of you. Shut the fuck up. Go away.